YT family, this is NYC Chocolate here, and I'm coming in with a question, an answer response video. Mama Rose posted a video today regarding living in maintenance, and I just wanted to answer a couple of questions that were posed. First question was, did you think that getting to go and living in maintenance would be how your life is today? I got to go, I had gastric bypass surgery back on January the 11th of 2011. I got to go in 8 months and 25 days. So I've been in maintenance for a while, but I just chose to make my first actual video on my surgery anniversary date. And... What I can say as far as the question is, getting to go was the greatest experience of my life other than the birth of my son. It was something that I accomplished in my lifetime that no one can take away from me. I'm an everyday wearer. And sometimes that can be good or sometimes it can be bad. Depending on how the scale goes up and down, as you know, it can either make or break your day. But for me, I like to have that accountability. So that's why I like to weigh in every day to know where I'm starting at, how my day is going to look, and to make myself be focused on exactly what I'm putting into my mouth and my body and knowing exactly what my weight is. So, getting to goal has been a great experience for me. It's something that is indescribable. It's something that we all chase for. But you have to realize your journey is your journey. Everybody's body is different, everybody's metabolism, everybody's makeup of how they work their own journey is different. So you can't base your getting to goal as far as on anybody else's journey. You have to make it your own and you have to focus and be dedicated. You have to want it so bad that you taste it every day. That's how I am. I can taste staying in my maintenance range. As I said before in my previous video, my first surgery anniversary, I changed my goal a couple of times because I wanted to see exactly how much I could push my body and to mold my body to be in the range of where I wanted it to be. So I've accomplished that, and I intend on staying here. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. I think the thing that weighed the heaviest for me is... This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And I'm not just going to piss it away for, say, a piece of chocolate cake or pizza or something that will be detrimental to my weight loss. This is something that I fought for daily and I fight for daily still because you have to eat in your everyday life. Uh, having a food addiction is different from say having a drug addiction being an alcoholic, something, you know, to that you don't have to put into your body. We have to eat to live. But you have to go on the basis that you don't live to eat. And that's exactly how it is for me now. I'm no longer live to eat. I'm no longer suppress my feelings as far as in food. I find other things to do. 
things that are beneficial to my health, my well-being, and being the way that I want to be. Second question that was posed is, how has your daily lifestyle changed from goal life to maintenance life? For me, it hasn't changed. Not one single bit. I still follow the steps daily. That has been ingrained in my mind to where I don't vary off that path. And if I do vary off the path, I'm like, wait a minute, what am I doing? Am I losing my mind? Because, no. I don't want to go back to that 232-pound Helena. I want to stay here now in the present 125-pound Helena. And that stays on my mind every single day. Third question. Would you say the journey is over when you hit goal? Absolutely not. This journey is never over unless you want to go back to your former self. And I don't know anyone that would invest the time, effort, and energy in losing the weight to revert back to their former self. I think... With losing weight and staying focused and determined, you have to have it click in your mind that this is the way it's going to be from now on. You can't do the things that you used to do in order to have the results that you have today. Your whole lifestyle has to change and that changes for the better. Like Mama Rose said, I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to be able to enjoy my life and have energy and be able to run and skip and play and walk and do all the things that I couldn't do when I was 232 pounds and your knees are aching and all you have energy for is to lift a fork to your mouth. Mm -hmm. So, the journey is never over. Well, in my eyes, it's never over. Next question, is the goal the end? I just answered that. No, the goal is not the end. That's just the beginning. Because once you get into the size or the weight that you want to be, you're never going to want to go back. Unless... That's not what you really wanted. What advice would you give someone 10 pounds or less from goal? The advice I would give is to keep on pushing. That taste is already in your mouth. That you are so close to where you want to be. That that should be the only thing on your mind. 24-7 is that. Another 10 pounds, I'll be at the weight that I want to be. Oh, I got this. And that's exactly how it was for me. I wanted it so bad I could taste it. When I got to where I wanted to be, I said, oh, I like this. I like being able to go in any store that I want to and shop now. Pick up Anything that I find appealing to me and know that I'm going to be able to fit it. I don't have to go to specialized stores anymore. I don't have to spend loads and loads of money on one article of clothing because they need a lot of fabric to make it. No. That's not in my life anymore. And it never will be again. I know you should never say never, but I can make this guarantee. I'm not going back to my old lifestyle. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. I like the new Helena. 
And the new Helena is here to stay. So that's what I say to you. Work your journey like you've worked nothing else in your life. You have to taste this journey and want it more than you've ever wanted anything. This has to be the most important thing in your life right now that you want to accomplish. And once you make that your determining factor, you have no other choice but to succeed. Because anything that we put our minds to, we can do it. I'm proof. And you will be too. So YT family, I just wanted to make this response. Thank you for listening. Have a good night.